In today's funny story joke, prepare yourself for an uproarious tale of comedy and misfortune. This story will have you in fits of laughter as we explore the hilarious misadventures of three soldiers and their unique choices. Get ready for a joke that's not just funny, but a comedy masterpiece that promises to keep you giggling all the way through. Three Soldiers of Fortune, a stiff upper lip Englishman named Bartholomew, a whiskey-loving Irishman named Seamus, and a chain-smoking Frenchman named Pierre found themselves in a sticky situation. Mercenaries in a foreign land gone wrong, they were captured and sentenced to a year of solitary confinement. Facing a year of solitary confinement, the judge, in a rare display of something resembling amusement, or perhaps just sheer boredom, offered them a twisted form of leniency. Each of you, he declared, his voice dripping with a sickly sweet foe kindness, may choose one luxury item to accompany you for the duration of your sentence. Consider it a parting gift, before a year of utter isolation, of course. Bartholomew the Englishman, whose idea of excitement was a perfectly creased tie, adjusted his monocle and puffed out his chest. I say a year's supply of the finest English gin, wouldn't you agree? After all, a gentleman needs his tonic. The judge, suppressing a snort of laughter, noted down Bartholomew's request. He then turned to Seamus, whose bloodshot eyes and disheveled beard spoke volumes about his preferred tipple. Seamus, his face perpetually fixed in a wide, hopeful grin, bellowed, A year's supply of the finest, smoothest, most soul-warming Irish whiskey, Your Honor. A true Irishman's solace in times of, well, times like this, wouldn't you say? The judge, ever the stickler for rules, made a show of writing down Seamus's request before turning to Pierre, the Frenchman whose constant cigarette smoke practically formed a permanent halo around his head. Pierre, looking distinctly less cool than usual, a feat most thought impossible, rasped out his request in a voice hoarse from a year of non-stop smoking. Just a crate of the finest French cigarettes, Monsieur Le Juge. He croaked. The judge, his cruel amusement bubbling over, readily agreed. After all, what else could a man possibly need for a year of solitary confinement, right? But this story joke is not over yet. Stay tuned, because the real punchline is about to hit. After the 12 months are up, the judge returns to release the prisoners. He opens the door to the Englishman's cell, and the Englishman hobbles out, bleary-eyed and weak, and says, I'm finally free before collapsing and succumbing to alcohol poisoning right on the spot. Next, they head to the Irishman's cell. They open the door, and the Irishman scuffles out, his eyes bloodshot, his steps unsteady. Free at last, he mumbles, taking a few shaky steps before straightening himself and slowly walking towards freedom. Finally, the judge approaches the Frenchman's cell. He opens the door and out steps the Frenchman looking utterly disheveled, his clothes in tatters. He takes a few shaky steps forward, raises his hands and pleads desperately. Please, please, does anyone have a lighter or matches? <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.